Jersey Sports Zone's basketball state tournament coverage is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. The non-public B North final is the hottest ticket in town. Roselle Catholic has owned this section in recent years. They faced Gil St. Bernard's in the last three title games, and the Lions have won each of those. But Gil looks to snap that record with one of their most talented teams in recent memory. The amount of talent on the floor was incredible. Five-star junior Simeon Wiltshire dials up from downtown as RC grabs an early lead. On the other side, five-star Nas Cunningham throws it down. Roselle and Gill going toe-to-toe -to -toe early. Georgetown commit Denver Anglin got off to a hot start in this game. He was feeling it from beyond the arc. A back-and-forth first quarter ends with Akil Watson and this drive. RC trails Gill 13-12 after one. The second quarter was a Denver Anglin shooting contest. His three-point shot was on another level, and Anglin starts knocking down threes from all over the court. This right here is his fourth straight long ball, giving GSB an eight-point lead. Roselle Catholic tried to kill the momentum. Simeon Wilcher with a beautiful drive, count it and one. The Lions cut it down to a three-point game here. But Anglin wouldn't be denied. He knocks down another three with time winding down in the half. Denver Anglin has 21 points at the break. Gil St. Bernard's goes into the locker room, leading 33-27. Anglin keeps it going in the third. He hauls in the long pass, and yeah, you guessed it, another three. He's on fire. 4-14 left in the third. Gill leads by 10. But the momentum swings again, this time in favor of Roselle Catholic. Akeel Watson throws down a monster jam. Then it's Simeon Wilcher driving the lane for two. And now we find Jamarcus Lawrence in transition. Roselle Catholic still trails, but it's 48-43 headed to the final quarter. This red hot run continues into the fourth. Braxton Jones with the pull up jumper. Now he's starting to feel it. Then it's Jones with the biggest bucket of the night. Count it and one. RC takes a 50-48 lead thanks to Braxton Jones. And the RC fans are loving this 11-0 run for the Lions. From this point on, it's all Roselle Catholic. Jones finished with 11 points, but seven of those came in crunch time here in the fourth. Then Lawrence breaks away for the layup here. RC never gives the lead back, and they become sectional champions again. 68-62 is the final. Denver Anglin dropped a season-high 35 points. He was incredible, but it wasn't enough as Roselle Catholic captures its ninth consecutive sectional title. The Lions dug deep late to get the job done. You can't come back from 10-11 down mid-third quarter against a team like that in a sectional final unless you stay together as a group, stay together as a team, and uh, they fought together and battled together and found a way to win. We've been in a situation like this before, so it's not like we're kind of new to this. So we just stuck together, do what we had to do on the defense end because that, that creates easy offensive points for us. So stuck together and we were able to come up with the win. We picked it up on defense, talked on defense. Most of it was all defense, so we just pulled it through and went as a team. We just really just stayed locked in. We stayed, to the, we stayed, we stayed the course. We listened to what Coach said, stayed the course, and when we saw that at times that we were down, we, we kept our head up and we just kept going. Roseville Catholic will face Trenton Catholic in the non-public B final on Saturday at Jersey Mike's Arena in Piscataway. Reporting from Franklin High School, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.